Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here behind me is one seriously stuck excavator. Now we're gonna play a little game. In one of our most recent videos, we did a boat recovery and I asked you guys if you'd be interested in coming and spending a weekend with us doing the snowed in thing. Snowmobiles, ATVs, rangers on tracks, tanks, helicopters, you name it. So here is your opportunity. All you have to do for a chance to win a trip out to Utah, all expenses paid, we'll cover everything. All you gotta do is guess how long it's gonna take us to get this excavator unstuck. And if you go over, your guess doesn't count. So here's how the game works, ready? Starting right now, drop a comment below. I'm gonna, boom, hit the timer. And you're gonna guess, is it three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours and 10 minutes? Just keep in mind that if you go over, then you're completely immediately out. But if you're right under, then you're in the running. Here's your three easy steps. Like this video, drop your comment, and guess how long you think it's gonna take us to get this excavator unstuck without going over, and subscribe to the channel. Then, here's the thing. YouTube comments are really hard to like sift through, so it's really hard to say, oh, this person commented first, or that person commented first. So what we're gonna do is just go through the comments and grab 10 of you finalists who get the closest, and you commented the earliest, and then we're gonna narrow you 10 down to three of you, like I said, all expense paid trip out to Utah, and all you gotta do is just take a wild guess at how long this is gonna take us. The clock's ticking. Well, there she is. What are the essentials, Alan? Uh, cherry Coke, more Cherry Coke, and finally Cherry Coke. tire now apparently the intercooler on my truck blew up that's a big deal that's not an easy fix the metal flange that holds the piping on apparently just popped off diesel trucks don't like to uh, go very well with no boost it's weird I've never had one of those intercoolers blow up before we're gonna go get them and pull them back with this we want a hell of a train Aren't you so glad to see me? Not only because you brought pizza, but also because you're you. Uh, breadsticks. Are you really drinking a Coke right now? Yeah, that's all we have. No cherry Pepsi? No, no, I don't drink cherry Pepsi. Either Pepsi or cherry Coke. Guys, it's officially that time of year stuff just starts getting stuck. We're down here at Yuba Lake, uh, about two hours south where we live in Utah. We got some pictures and a phone call about an excavator that uh, is 
surprise, surprise, buried. And this one rivals my island excavator. I mean, it is sunk. And uh, we're gonna pull it out because it's a very, very tricky situation. Getting close to the water, all the recovery equipment starts to sink. And so I know I say it all the time, but I'm gonna say it again right now, buckle up because I got Wild Bill on, which means this is gonna be a wild time. We gotta get moving. tried to start it today so I just left it off kind of left it alone it yeah. was running we turned it off yesterday we started it two or three times but every time it would sink a little more yeah. and then this morning it sunk a little more so we're happy to see you that's for yeah, sure yeah happy to be so, here man We can get it dug out enough that we can get the turret to rotate, uh, but we need to get all this mud out so any water back there won't touch the fan. We got to clear out the fan area in the engine compartment. It's not that's risen up to the fan level, but there is a little bit of water. Like a lower two inches of the fan is in there. Arm up, I'll pull you flat and get you out of the mud as quick as I can. right here freaking Florida men so what we're gonna do you can kind of see where Alan's at right there there's a hole in the frame of that excavator so we're taking two soft shackles one to the stuck excavator right uh -huh. you know yeah and then one to this one okay and this thing's running now so hopefully under its own power with a little bit of help from this one yeah good idea it should work right You know what's better than swamping your boots? Just going barefoot. Got a lick right there, wash up in. That's all you need. <laughs>
I think it's pretty good progress with just the excavator right now. We've got a ramp built using the swamp mats that the stuck machine is going to be able to crawl out on. The good news is the stuck machine is running. We came down here thinking that it wasn't going to be running. As you can see, it's helping a ton. If an excavator doesn't run when you're trying to pull it out, I mean, at that rate, you're just digging, literally pulling dead weight. So. If it wasn't running, we would have to excavate a giant kind of a ramp around it, and then we would have to hook up multiple winches, plus this, plus a dozer, to just kind of drag it to, to safety. But I'm really glad to see that it's running, because that is gonna make our life a whole lot easier. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that it's running, because I was looking for more of a challenge, but we're not done yet. We're just barely getting started. We broke a soft shackle because it was rubbing on a hard, sharp edge of the bucket, so we're gonna put a D-ring on there, and basically do what I was just doing again, making progress. Oh. Oh. The angle of the bucket too, like where it was, it probably wasn't such a good angle. I think it kind of, it was on its way out until this thing broke. Almost, we're only halfway. As long as we get off the beach, then I'll give you a real good we did it. That was like a halfway we did it. What you about to do, Florida man? Stay tuned. In five seconds, when it happens. <laughs> Just, no, you don't get to measure it. Wow, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> He's being a baby and measuring it. Hey, have you guys seen Hunter? Have you subscribed to his channel? Because he does stuff like this all the time. Look at Cannonball! <laughs> Let's see that in an instant replay. <laughs> Cannonball! <laughs> Legitness. <laughs> wow! You should do it in the soft end though. That looks nice too. Uh, Round two. Cannonball. Boop. Now, you need to subscribe to the channel. Do it! Just do it! Did I earn it? Did I earn that? Ooh. I'll see you guys there. Skip it about and that up. <laughs> 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 Did you make your guesses for time yet? Because the time is now officially stopped. You might want to go to the comments, put in your guess, because somebody's going to win and come out to Utah on an all expense paid trip to heaven. Woohoo! You deserve a wizard bar.
Just I maybe. do, don't I? One giant black dark chocolate kilogram wizard bar. Well, anyway. You Guess how long it took? I will tell you this, it took way less time than we expected. Those swamp mats, I'm telling you, that's their secret weapon. Had we not had the swamp mats, well, we would end up like they did yesterday. They had a dozer, they had an excavator, and they weren't able to even get close to getting it out yesterday. It just got further stuck. Using the swamp mats really changed the game a little bit, and uh, we didn't even have to use the Het Wrecker. Popped right out without having to use that. All we used was the Sandy 265, a Yankum rope, and two soft shackles. And she came out. That was awesome because it was buried. We got a two hour drive north. Got to drive through the storm. It's going to be storming all night. So guys, remember, drop a comment below if you haven't yet and uh, take a guess at how long you think that took us. Don't go over. You want to be under. So underestimate it. In order for you to win a chance to come out and spend some time with us this winter on a wild winter weekend in one of our snowed in series, all you got to do is like the video, drop your guess of how long you think that took subscribe to the channel. We're going to choose 10 finalists from the comments who get the closest, and then we're going to narrow that down to two or three of you. All expense paid trip to come out and see us. Thanks for watching.